Hey everyone, Andre here to discuss a recent rumor, as you've probably heard, being that Game Boy and Game Boy Color games are apparently in the cards to come to Nintendo Switch Online apparently eminently like pretty soon it sounds like so this rumor has been reported a few different sources most recently by Eurogamer which even suggested that they've apparently heard rumblings of even more platforms in the works for NSO we'll possibly be discussing that uh, very soon but this this discussion is primarily focused on the Game Boy aspect of the rumor and uh, we're gonna discuss whether we think it has merit and uh, what our personal hopes are for Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games to come to the service if this is in fact uh, the case so I'm joined of course by Tom in this case, one of the only uh, Game of Spain members who probably grew up with a Game Boy, old enough to grow up with a Game Boy at this point, alongside myself. So, uh, Tom, what do you make of this rumor? Do you think it's credible? And uh, yeah, do you kind of do you hope it's true? Even uh, it's hard because Game Boy, it almost feels like it doesn't fit on a home console. But you know, this, the Switch is portable, so it does make sense. It's not like it's going to come to anything else. Uh, it's only it's its only place for it to go really unless Nintendo went crazy and decided a mobile service for it. Um, it's been a while since we've had a new platform for the Switch with Nintendo Switch Online so I think it does make it's a possibility. I don't think we're getting like a Game Boy Mini anytime soon with chips shortages so uh, I'm hopeful. And the uh, analog is even working on their own basically portable Game Boy anyway, which not quite the same thing as a Game Boy Mini, but kind of covers the market there in some sense. Uh, and I personally, although I personally would love a Game Boy Mini, um, I think it makes way more sense to have it on the Switch. It's already a portable platform. A Game Boy Mini wouldn't be that much smaller than the Switch already is, so it kind of makes sense just to put it on the Switch. Uh, so with that being said, I think this rumor has merit. At the very least, I uh, I believe more platforms are coming. Um, I've you know I I haven't heard the specifics of Game Boy myself. I have heard other rumblings as well, and it sounds like there are big things in the works for NSO, regardless. And Eurogamer already basically touched on that by hinting at other platforms, of which I'm not going to specify what I've heard. But uh, point is, it sounds like there are big things in the works, as I think as I just said. Um, thanks at the point. Can't even remember what I said anymore. <laughs> and. Uh, and it just makes sense considering the fact it, we are coming up on Nintendo Switch's online third anniversary. It is this month in September, uh, and again, that ties in well with the uh, Nintendo Direct rumors. Not that it has to be announced during it, but I think it's very possible it will be. Uh, so yeah, no matter what, whether Game Boy happens or not, I think big things are in the works. The big question is, is whether this changes anything for NSO? Are they just adding all this stuff for free, or will it be, uh, or will it be part of maybe a raised price, or perhaps a second tier even? I wouldn't put past Nintendo if everything, uh, if if you know, if it's Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and more. I wonder if that might go hand in hand with a price increase of some kind. Um, but yeah, at, at any rate, I'm excited for Game Boy myself. I'm a big fan of the Game Boy platform. I think it often gets overlooked. One of the big things that's like going around on Twitter, not that huge, but I saw a few takes being like, "Where's Game Boy Advance?" It's like, "Hey, Game Boy Advance is its own, its, its own inter entirely different ecosystem. Let's let the Game Boy have a moment to shine." And I, when I when I was putting together my list of top games we'll be discussing soon, Tom, I had trouble narrowing it down. Like there are so many great, I think, Game Boy games that I would love to see come back. It's hard to narrow it down. I think it deserves its own, you know, its own time in the sun before bringing the Game Boy Advance as well. Yeah, there are a lot, and a lot that I'm sure I don't even know about still on Game Boy and Game Boy Color, especially because that was a very short window before the Game Boy Advance came out. Could see a uh, price increase if there is more than the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, though, because with those two, I could see it being put in the service. But if you added more, that's like a huge value. I don't think Nintendo would just necessarily do that for free. If they did, well, good on them, but. I could yeah. see a price increase. I also don't see much reason for Nintendo to add much more than they already have because they already have people invested in the platform. It would be goodwill, or in the service, I should say. It would be really goodwill to just give us more. That's great. We're paying for something already. Give us more of that. But Nintendo knows they have us against the wall. We need to pay for the we need to pay in order for the online to work. Period. These games are really just a bonus on top. I don't think there's a ton of people right now at least paying just for those games. And not that they wouldn't, but it's because they have to have the service anyway for the online, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope it's just part of it. That'd be great. But if not, you know, we'll, we'll have to discuss that when the time comes. Uh, yeah, anyways, with that being said... Oh, I was going to mention one other point real quick. Um, one of the things mentioned that people would throw out, like, as a counterpoint to my Game Boy Advance argument that's a whole different ecosystem. Well, like, well, isn't Game Boy Color its own ecosystem too? Not really. It was kind of like this weird middle generation thing, almost like the pro of its time, yeah. where 
it, it was basically a game an enhanced Game Boy with color. It had some exclusive games, a decent amount even. They also had a lot of cross compatible games too. Games that came on that uh, special black cartridge, which would work on both the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Color uh, with enhancements, um, which was pretty cool. So, anyways, Tom, we're running out of time. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> and it's Conquer. Perfect. Yeah. The very different Conquer back in the day. Well, on that note. I thought it'd be fun for us to discuss our top 10 games we want to come to the service, and to do that, we're going to be breaking it up uh, between Tom and I with five each, uh, and we're going to be removing any redundancies. And then also I wanted to discuss games that we may have missed that we thought would be fun to play or you know, experience for the first time on a Game Boy Nintendo Switch Online service. So since we're low on time, Tom, take it away. Let's get one of your games that you'd like to see here, one of your top five games. Very first one I'd like to see, and especially considering it's online, you know, multiplayer, uh, I'm just gonna get out there right off the bat. Tetris. Whether Tetris or Tetris DX. Get that on there. You have to. Tetris is a must. You, I, I don't care if Nintendo has to go license it again. They need to do it. That's what made the Game Boy a huge success before Pokemon gave it a shot in the arm a decade later. It needs Tetris, especially because even though we already have Tetris on the Switch, you know, online in the form of uh, Tetris 99 and other versions too, like Tetris and Puyo Puyo, there's just something classic about the Game Boy version. And the Game Boy or the, the Game Boy version's gameplay is technically a little bit different. Having no hold pieces and uh, and uh, having a narrower play field or a shorter play field, I think, I forget which of the two, I think probably shorter. Um, maybe, but anyways, uh, I, it, it plays a little bit uniquely. Plus, you got the classic Game Boy style music and visuals. We need it here. It'd be great. Uh, so good, good call, Tom. Also, to your point with multiplayer, that way I hope they bring back the multiplayer, or rather, you know, find a way to make multiplayer work online because that would be awesome. It's something I think a lot of people didn't do on the Game Boy originally, only because link cables are kind of a pain. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know a lot of people with link cables back in the day until Pokemon came out, so I missed out on a lot of Game Boy, or a lot of multiplayer opportunities. On, on the platform. Anyways, my next pick, or my first pick uh, of, the, of my personal top five, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna group two together. Super Mario Land 1 and 2. Ooh. Yes, we need them. We need them here. I, I, even though they're not as iconic as the console games, they really are, like, uh, they, they really are for the platform it's on. Like, you know, Mario Land, I think, shipped with the Game Boy or shortly after the Game Boy in the US. I think with it. And, uh, and even though it doesn't age quite as well as a lot of Mario games in its own right, I think it holds up by and large pretty well. It's an interesting time capsule to go back to. And of course, Mario Land 2 legitimately, I think, largely does hold up. And it would be great to experience those platformers on a screen that doesn't smear completely, or yeah. smear completely <laughs> when, uh, when you're moving at any kind of speed. So That's yeah. going to be a huge bonus. Like, how dare you, though, say Super Mario Land 2 is not iconic. It had Wario's first appearance. It, you're right. It had that great moon point. level. It had the sap in the trees. Come on now. I mean, I'm I'm not saying it's not iconic. I'm saying not it should as. be more iconic yeah. than it is. Yeah, that it deserves its iconic, a more iconic status. And also, that would tie in well with the WarriorWare uh, Get It Together release coming up. So, all right, Tom, that's two games down. What's your uh, what's your next uh, game that you think needs to be here? Uh, one that I think should be here. That I think um, it's fitting with an October release coming up is Metroid Two. I played that one a ton, as I mentioned in our Metroid discussion. It's really one of the standout games of the Game Boy that I knew of, and I think with the, a better save system and Switch Online, it'll be a lot more accessible for people to play. Totally agreed. It makes a ton of sense, especially with Samus Returns having come out not too long ago. Yeah. It'd be fun for people to be able to experience the original version of it on Switch, So, including myself. I would love to and be able an easy way to stream it. All right. Uh, since I was already talking about platformers, I guess you have been as well a little bit. Uh, I, the next, I think, even though I, even though I was argue, arguing with Mario's iconic stats in Game Boy, I think there is no doubt the iconic 2D platformer on Game Boy is Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land. Yeah. And uh, I think it'd be great for people to be experienced the first game on on Game Boy. Hell, include them all. I think there's three of them, two of them at least. I think two, two of them at rather. least for sure. Yeah, two. Yeah. And I actually missed the second one myself, so I'm gonna cheat again. Include both of them. And especially because the first Kirby's Dream Land is so different now in that there it had no copy abilities. Uh, and it's it had a really simple visual art style that holds up well, I think, on Game Boy. Um, it still looks, I think, pretty good to this day with large sprites. Um, and it had a hard mode that's surprisingly difficult. It's not as easy as you think it is. So bring that back. <laughs> Man, I, I went first, but it feels like I'm going last now because you are now two for two <laughs> in ones that were also on my list. But I wrote hey, a few here. down. So, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to do one that... We've seen a ton of Link's Awakening, 
recently, that would be a good one, but I want to say Oracle of Ages and Seasons from the Game Boy Color. As Tris would, I'm sure, would want to have in this discussion. Uh, those are great to revisit recently, and I think, you know, there's not too many chances to have those come out. I would like to see those two versions of Zelda, made by Capcom, come out on, the, on this service. Yeah, I, I think that would make a ton of sense. Uh, they've had uh, really no re-releases as far as I'm aware. I think maybe a GBA re-release of that count. Or, actually, I guess a GBA release at the same time, I think. Anyways, yeah, I think more people should probably deserve to play those games. Um, and I think we've had Link's Awakening... I, like, I'm personally sick of Link's Awakening. I think it's probably the better game, but I've had enough of it, so let's bring on the Oracle games. I'm right there with you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna break things up. I'm gonna break up my platformer predictions or hopes so far. I'm gonna go with a a slightly different one, but I'm gonna stay in the Kirby vein. Kirby's Pinball Land. Oh. I love I love pinball games, virtual pinball games, and uh, Kirby's pin and, and pinball in general. I think Kirby's Pinball Land nailed it. It captured the essence of Kirby, captured the essence of, of pinball, put it all together in one in this epic like uh, pinball adventure game with multiple levels. It was a lot of fun. I think it'd be a great fit on the Switch. All right, I'm going to go with another one I had. I think I got it when I originally got Game Boy. Yoshi's Cookie. I know it's on other platforms, but the Game Boy one was great, in my opinion. Yeah. And it has multiplayer 2, kind of like Tetris. So I think it'd be a great fit for Switch Online. Perfect. All right, next up for my uh, choice, I'm going with Pokemon trading card game baby that's right forget pokemon we had enough of them i want the trading card game that game was great totally underrated it's a lot of fun great music definitely uh and it's a surprisingly like effective rpg length trading card game adventure it's it captures the essence of the card game but in an rpg pokemon like form it is awesome i want to hear <laughs> all right what are we up to tom is that are you on number nine or eight i think uh we track. might have done it <laughs> yeah we're like oh god we're on the range of... I've done four think, or five. Okay, I think you're... Oh, God. I think you're on seven or Ten. eight now. I think you're on eight. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to put one here that I played a bit of, but not the entire thing. Uh, Metal Gear Ghost Babel, which was yes. a highly rated Game Boy Color game uh, that kind of was like an alternate to Metal Gear Solid that came out after that. Uh, I would love to see that and have the chance to play the full thing on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, great choice. I think it's a, a Metal Gear game that a lot of people missed out on. It'd be fun to go back to a kind of simpler style of Metal Gear that still was a little bit more complicated, I think, than the NES ones uh, that came before it, um, or the arcade ones as well, I think. Uh, or no, not arcade. M whatever that console MSX. was. MSX. Thank you. I was going to say that. I wasn't sure about it. Shouldn't doubt it myself. All right. Uh, I'm a big fan of platformers. For my next one, I'm going... Donkey Kong 94. Uh, this game was great. It took the Donkey Kong concept, evolved it a ton, added a ridiculous amount of stages. Just a lot of fun. It's a, a really well done, smartly uh, handled platformer on the Game Boy that is also remarkably... Uh, uh, Mario is remarkably athletic in the game, including <laughs> abilities he wouldn't have until, you know, he would otherwise wouldn't have, or have until Mario 64. So, all right. Nearly out of time, Tom. <laughs> What's your number nine, I think? Number nine. Okay, I am going with... I'm going with a unique one. I'm going with X, uh, kind of put together by Dylan Cuthbert. Uh, it sort of has 3D graphics in the Game Boy before he did Star Fox. Uh, I played a bit of the... I think it was a quasi-sequel uh, that he released earlier, I believe maybe on DSiWare. But this mm -hmm. one, it would be neat to see a bit of that history of what Dylan Cuthbert did with Nintendo before Star Fox. Yeah, that's a great choice. Um, for my number 10, I was going to, I was thinking about Super Mario Brothers Deluxe because it is one of the best versions of that game. But we've had so many versions of Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers over the years. And it, that one technically for everything it added, it also had the smaller play area. So I don't know if it really is the best version of it. So I'm gonna go with another handheld line of platformers. I'm a big platformer guy. Donkey Kong Lands 1, 2, and 3. Yep, I'm oh. cheating again. They're completely different games. The only, Donkey Kong Land especially, completely original, with the other two uh, lifting elements, more elements from the console games, but still having unique level design. I think they also got overlooked, especially back in the day, and uh, are worth playing. I think that'd be a lot of fun on Game Boy, particularly, or on Switch now, particularly with the fact that that's, it's, that's a line of games that particularly suffered on the Game Boy's original screen, looking like even more of a smear compared to Mario. Just because there's so much detail in those backgrounds, it was just really hard to make out things. Tom, we have like a minute left. What are, I think we covered everything, right? That's 10 for us, I yeah. think. Uh, so let's get into quickly 
uh, the games that we missed on Game Boy that we think would be fun to play for the first time. Tom, what do you hope comes to the service that you missed? I would hope that... I'll start off with Wave Race. It originated on oh, Game Boy. Yes, I would love to see one. that and get to experience Wave Race because uh, I thought it started on N64. Like, nope. Yeah, great choice. Uh, I'll go with uh, Kid Dracula. It's a uh, I've missed a lot of the uh, like Castlevania type games, um, and I, especially Kid Dracula. It always looked like a fun game to me, so I would love to uh, check that out on the, on the platform. Okay, my next one. It has maybe a wise choice because of the composer. Super RC Pro Am on the Game Boy. I loved it on the NES. I'd love to see it on Switch and it's up to four players. Top down uh, racing game by Rare. Nice. Uh, for my next one, I'm going to go with a game uh, that I, I didn't miss back in the day, but I kind of stopped playing it because it was uh, annoying on the Game Boy. Being Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, baby! It had it, it had motion controls, different motion controls were a big thing where you tilted the system, but because of the Game Boy screen worked with it having no built-in light, you could really only play it on an airplane, which wasn't ideal. So I think it'd be great on Switch, particularly with the fact it already has motion controls built in, so we can finally play it in a seeable form. Okay, and for me, uh, finally, I'm a bit torn on this one because I believe it did have a re-release on Switch recently, but the original Shantae from Game Boy Color would be a notable title to have on the service. I don't think it would have because you can pay for it now, but uh, that's one that technically belongs to be there. Good choice. I've never really played the series, so that'd be uh, that'd be great. I do love platformers, so there we go. Uh, for my final pick, I'm going to say final, but we're literally out of time. Uh, like Star Fox 2 on the Super NES uh, Switch online service thing, uh, I'm going to hope they bring back a game that never released in the States, being Pokemon Trading Card Game 2, baby. I forget the actual name. I want the sequel. I want to localize. Give it to me. I want it in my veins, uh, because apparently I think it had better AI, more cards, and all that stuff. I think it'd be Tom fun. Tom, any final thoughts before we wrap it up? We we haven't even mentioned Wario Land. It's like there's so right? many different possibilities oh. for there because we want because we didn't want Mario Land two to be screwed over. That's why. Yep. <laughs> Wario Land actually, in a way, is almost more a Konka game than even Mario is too. It'd be great to have that series here, and that really speaks to my point. That it was hard to narrow down our list. There is a lot on Game Boy, tons more that I could go into that I haven't even mentioned. That I think deserves replaying, and I think hold, I think would largely hold up. Anyways, with that, everyone, that is our Game Boy uh, predictions discussion, as well as our thoughts on the rumor. Let us know what you think in the comments below, whether you think the rumor is true, and what you would like to see on the Game Boy service, if it happens. And of course, stay tuned to Game Boy for tons more on the service, hopefully whenever it launches, and everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, and we didn't say Pokemon, because that's probably not happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got the train card game. Yeah. <laughs>